So I just wanted to share a quick little tip with you. Um, I'm working on a project that this is just coming really handy for. So basically, if you've got a custom character that you've brought in from another program, um, and you've set it with something like AccuRig, and you want to do, and you want to do facial morphs, this works really great. Except for when working with a custom character, you don't have the option to, like, say, if you're doing like eye blinks, you have to work on every single shape individually. So when um, creating shapes for like the CC4 base meshes, you can work on and the extended facial profile, you can work on the two express, you know, like both sides of the face, and then split that in half. Whereas here, so like if you're trying to do a smile, um, let's see, a smile. And then you want to create the same thing, maybe using um, ZBrush, you've then got to match it up manually and there's no way of kind of flipping that over and using that same expression. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do this uh, using Blender. It's just a quick way of doing it. So, so for example, if I want to do the smile, um, instead of what I would ideally want to do is sculpt that face in one hit and then split that into the two different sides of the face. So, so let's send this to ZBrush. Obviously, you could do this using the Edit Mesh tool, but I just want ZBrush is a lot better for this stuff, I think. So now we're just going to really quickly sculpt the smile just to show an example of how this works. So if we go to press X and put on symmetry. We want to work on both sides at the same time as trying to match them up afterwards can be a complete pain. So say if we get the face with a big big smile, something like that, and we send that back to Carriage Creator 4. Not the best one, but it'll do for our purposes here. Okay, so let's um, add that to the smile. And I'm going to add that to right smile as well. So now it's got both sides on each one. And obviously that's not going to work when we're setting up lip, syn uh, lip syncing and uh, facial animation. So what we need to do now is export this model. So I'm going to export this. So we're going to go to Blender for this one. So we're going to export as an FBX. Let's play clove character. I'm going to set this to Blender and just keep pretty much keep the settings as they are. Okay, so that's been exported out. Now I'm going to import that into Blender. Okay, so we've got our model in Blender. Now what we need to do is select space, go to edit mode. We'll go to where our shape keys are. So obviously we was working on smile. So let's go past that. Where is it? Mouth, uh, mouth, smile, left. So what we want to do here is select all the points on the right. Go to vertex, blend from shape. Well, uh, the shape to be the base shape, so basis and turn off add. Now if we go to right, do the same thing. We select the ones on this side, vertex, then from shape, make sure add is turned off. Now we go back to, we can now see if we turn small left on, it's working on the left. So you basically just deleting the other side of each one. So that's added on. And then you, you could do that through all of these. So this will speed. So basically when you're in character creator, you can just basically go through and just build the foot like frowns, sm uh, blinks and everything for both sides all on the one mesh. Then bring it to Blender. Then we'll export this back out. Then back in Character Creator 4, if we go back to the Facial Profile Editor, if we go to Batch Import and select FBX File, and then we select that folder, that FBX, 
and you can see it's now got all of these. We want to replace all sliders with the same name and press OK. Now, if we look at the mouth smile, it's split into left and right. So I know in the past when building these, it's taken me a long time to individually go for each one. Uh, and I've just found that this has sped up the process for me um, when working with these custom style characters. So um, I hope that helps.